whenever I visit your campus, I see so many young people, so many millennials working for you. And the way they use technology also is perhaps very different. And when I look at they're consuming technology also differently. So how do you work with the new generation so well? Because many of us are working with millennials and they have different asks and different uses. And how do you think they are going to consume the technology tomorrow? Well, I think that uh, having twins who are 25 year old helps because uh, being with <laughs> them and their friends like figures out it, it closes the generation gap. But more importantly, I think that when we are in the uh, engineering technology world, like we have, uh, and we have visions of ourselves, right? I always remind our technology people in terms of saying that, remember at the end of the day, technology has to adjust to human beings and not the other way around. And I always tell our uh, young people a uh, particular story and like it goes like you know saying that there was this great software guru technology PhD uh, all the great uh, tech nerds that we have and a really ordinary Gujarati from uh, Gujarat on a plane both sitting uh, next to each other and this guy is in awe of this guru and says, so the guru says, ah, I am a technology guy, but chalo, let's play a game, I'll be generous to you, that you can ask me one question, I'll ask you one question. And uh, uh, whoever cannot answer the question, if you don't know the question, you pay it, like you pay us. And because I am the great technology guru, for whatever question I don't know, I'll pay you 100 rupees, you pay me 10 rupees. This poor guru looked at this guy and said, okay, we'll do that, like you're a great technology guy. So he says, uh, okay, you start. So he said, yeah, this is the phone on in your hand. Tell me like in 1969, like for NASA, what was the power of the computers and what's the power in your phone and asked him a complicated question. This guy said, I don't know. So he says, okay, here are 10 rupees. So he gave him 10 rupees. So he took it. Now, fundamentally, the Guju had to ask the same question. So he asked, okay, he said, okay, tell me, like, uh, what is that animal that climbs a mountain on four legs and comes down on three legs? So this software engineer, like, went down and says, what is it? What is it? Like, went to, he took his phone, Googled everything, this, is that, and said, don't know. So he took 100 rupees and gave it to the guy. Uh, this guy took the 100 rupees, went to sleep, saying, no, no, this is not fair, right? You have to tell me, you just can't go to sleep. Tell me what the right answer is. After all, I am the engineer, PhD and all this stuff. So the Guju took another 10 rupees and gave it to him, says, I don't know. <laughs> So, within this, I think that the big lesson that uh, all of us engineers and tech gurus have to understand that ultimately there is common sense and the power of the common man and technology has to adjust to human beings. All our young people have to understand at the end of the day, we serve society and we serve that common man and we should always be aware that is far smarter than each one of us. Yes, absolutely. That's